Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Endzone, a world apart, where of course we're in our town of Doomcaster with just over 1,200 citizens, uh, maybe just a little bit under actually. Yeah, I think we've lost a few. We have had a few epidemics and stuff though, and uh, water got a really low at one point as well, so I think we've actually lost a few people. Still says we're uh, growing population, so that's good, but yeah, we kind of seem to have stalled at around this sort of 1,200 uh, citizens mark. Uh, which is okay, you know, we've got a drought just about to hit us as well, but we've got like 48,000 water almost, so, um, you know, we got we got tons of that, so we should be good on that one, but one thing that somebody did point out in the comments, and they are so right, I didn't think about it, but is to turn off these irrigators so that they don't collect water from the uh, rain collectors, because uh, obviously uh, the rain collectors, if we find like that one, yeah, look, I mean, that's full of water, but it's highly contaminated. So somebody could come along here and collect water out of that rain collector rather than we need to put it in here, filter it out, then, you know, then somebody could take it out from there. So, yeah, that is absolutely, uh, absolutely right, man. We definitely don't want to be uh, using that stuff. So let's switch that off. Uh, to be honest, do we really... Hmm. We'll, we'll leave you for that. I'm going to put you on low, I think, because... Uh, we don't actually care about you. I was That was kind of when I was uh, experimenting with you can get rid of the radiation by keeping these things down. But uh, yeah, let's switch off all of the contaminated water sources, which is going to be largely going to be those rain collectors, which is fine. But, uh, you know, as I say, we don't want to be putting contaminated water onto our crops because then we're going to radiate ourselves by eating the crops. So, yeah, let's switch all those things off. Let's get that one. Oh, you're off and only going for the well. Eh, I mean, that's okay. We're okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, oh, look at that one. Yeah, that has contaminate, low contamination, but it's got contaminated water. So it's putting contaminated water onto the crops, which is not good. So, yeah, that was absolutely a good call. So if we cancel all of those. And I think they said the same with the uh, pastures as well. Uh, where are we? Here. Yeah. So, again, we're going to give the uh, animals contaminated water and we don't want to do that so we're going to switch those off as well let's kind of just continue to go through and get all of those off the rest of them are fine the wells are fine i don't think i've actually got any uh, cisterns uh, it's either water towers or uh, wells so uh, that's fine i'm assuming hmm i wonder how the electric pump works i guess you uh, i don't know we'll have, to, we'll have to research that at some point but uh there we go oh yeah look that's got contaminated uh Produces contaminated resources. I wonder if we should just slaughter everybody. Uh, slaughter all the stuff there. Yeah, it'll work itself out, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. Right, so yeah, that, that is a good call. Um, is uh, To do that is because uh, that's just going to contaminate our people. That's going to contribute to the... How is the radiation? I mean, to be honest, the radiation isn't... It's not great, but it's not terrible either. There's nothing red about, so... You know, it's, it's not fantastic, but it's not brilliant either. But yeah, look at that. There's a green blob of radiation all around that because they're radiating the water so yeah that was absolutely a good call there thank you for that one and then i think the other thing that we need to do is to get the electricity grid in and try and get the most of the roads upgraded i think we've got a big portion of them like all most of these are done uh, i think like all of these are done as well yeah we've got quite a bit done but obviously there's quite a lot still to go so uh, i think we probably want to start doing that uh, logistic Let's get like some of those upgrades. There we go. We won't do too many, uh, but we'll just do a few. Uh, I think those are they already? Yeah, they're already upgraded. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. And we're going to get that main street done as well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll start upgrading. I don't want to throw too much at it because uh, you know the builders are overwhelmed as it is uh, we're gonna throw as many builders there i think what i'm gonna do as well is uh take down the scrap collectors and the refiners because at the moment we've got a lot of cloth we've got a lot of you know we've got a lot of everything i mean look at the scrap we've got absolutely tons of it so i don't think the scrap collectors are actually doing anything at the moment so i think what i'm gonna do is take those down or sort of do it at 35 i like drop them down to like 15 or something That'll be fine. And I think the same with the refiners. We'll drop that down to like, what, like 45 or something? I want to keep people on it. But, so 
going to take my eye off it and all of a sudden I'm going to have uh, nobody nobody doing that. But uh, let's make sure I've got everybody on the water collection because that's a good thing. Uh, what about tailors? Yeah, I still want to keep that going. The tools as well. We've already switched those down. The technicians, though, I think some of those are... Um, uh, where are they? Making bullets. No, that's a battery. Where is it? There we go. They're making the ammo. I think those are technicians as well. So, um, yeah, we want to keep those going. So we've got four of those. That's fine. All right, sorry about that. It was just a sneeze again. Um, yeah, we've got, like, the ammo. Ooh, do you know what? We kind of want some more. kind of want people making that. Because we are going to get hit at some point. Yeah, let's put a couple of extra people on it. That's fine. Uh, the others are all shut down. The tools are doing great, though. We've got 300... Um, yeah, over 300 metal tools and, uh, yeah, 26 scrap tools, so that's fine. I don't think we really need to worry too much about that. I'm going to leave those people on it, but uh, to be honest, we don't really need them making those, but I think we'll leave it. Um, oh, we've got a trader as well. I wish you a lovely day. Oh, hello. To be able to yeah. You have a research point? I kind of want that, although, oh boy, we don't have a lot to uh, trade, do we? What would you go with that? 98 sulfur? Hmm. It's like plastic. Yeah, most of that we don't really need. It. Like electronics, plastic. Yeah, all that stuff. We don't really need any of that. So I think I'm going to give you... Give you like a... I think I want to give you a good deal because... Oh, God. There we go. Let's kind of bring this down a little bit give you 120 because you do bring us research points so I think I'm gonna go with that Fantastic. there we go and I think was the expedition out or not waiting for instructions yes it was uh, instruct We've so let's go and do that it doesn't look as if everything's already been looted here after the catastrophe people probably weren't able to do a thing with the machinery at first let's hope we'll be better off without our technology pros where do we start chief Without our technology pros? Um, did they die or something? Oh, I... Hmm. I thought I selected just adults and stuff. Oh, well, you know. Uh, that's just... Yeah. Okay, that kind of blows. But there we go. Um, well, let's go in there. Luckily, a uh, storage depot is intact. Uh, raw materials for the factory were probably kept here. Uh, there are contents standing uh, next to the building. They look interesting. What should we uh, do it first? Uh, let's like, go for the containers, I think. Let's go with those first. Successful. We've got 71 wood. I'll take that. That's all good. And then let's go there for the cloth. Oh, there we go. That's okay. Cloth. Um, uh, opened a few crates. Uh, achieved a piece of cake with our crowbar. Uh, filled to the brim with cloth masks. All right, cloth masks. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we got a bunch of cloth and a bunch of wood. That's good. So that's that one done. Let's go back. We'll try and go into the factory. I say, I'm sure I sent a technician. Maybe I didn't. I have to watch the uh, last episode back. But um, I thought I excluded everyone other than adults and young adults. But I don't know. Maybe someone died along the way. Maybe they were radiated or something and died along the way. The building is caved in on one side. Uh, we should probably be able to get in and look around without any problems. Doors on the rear building. Uh, there's also a ladder leading up to the roof here. Okay, right. Climbing up shouldn't be too difficult for us. We're all still young. Yeah, I... Hmm. Okay, that's strange. Could have sworn I sent somebody uh, with a technician badge, but there we go. Uh, let's go collapse side. We might as well. So, oh, we've got scrap collector badge. And we've got a load of metal, so that's good. Uh, the fact is that really, despite our tools, as a tough piece of work, Chief. Uh, we had a few weeks of time. It's a good bit. Okay, fair enough. And then, no, find a way inside. What are you doing? I think I clicked the wrong one. There we go. Uh, let's go to the door over this side. Can we see that? Yes, we can. Okay, let's go and go in there. Took a while, but eventually it gave way. Uh, with pure muscle power, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere. Uh, empty crates, wooden pallets. Standing in the middle of a production hall now, Chief. Uh, there's no one here. Been here anymore since the catastrophe. Okay, oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Right, well, let's check out the... Uh, it's probably going to take us a while, but at least we have the proper tools. Let's go to the assembly lines. 
Oh, scrap plastic and a bit of metal. Nice. Sounds pretty good. Does it sound like that's already on, or is that just me? <laughs> oh. Oh, we found a huge pipe system is hanging in the ceiling that leads to a well outside. No idea. Need so much water for. And uh, we do not not able to dismantle it, Chief, but we were able to make a drawing. Uh, maybe our research can do something with it. <gasps> so we found the pipe system stuff. Oh, sweet. Oh, that is so nice. That is good. Right, let's go to the machinery next. Oh. Uh, expedition failed the task. Oh, uh, because we need that. Yeah, I was like, I could have sworn I sent a technician, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. Let's go to the control room. Oh. 142 electronics. Uh, there's one thing I've not struggled with massively is electronics. I don't think, you know, not a lot of stuff requires it, and if it does, it's only in generally small quantities. It's more the cloth and metal and stuff that you require more in the plastic. Uh, basically, it's a pretty easy uh, to understand. Okay. Occupied your time with electronic component in some of those. Uh, we'll try that one more. How many have we got? Three. I'm going to go back, actually. Let's go over to the roof. We'll probably need some more rations, but still, that's fine. Let's go to the roof. Oh. Machine has failed to complete your task. We're up there. A few of the rungs of the ladder broke off. Someone fell two meters as a result and injured their legs. Okay, that's not good. Staying in the middle of the reduction hall now. Oh boy, okay. Uh, let's go. Let's try the machinery again. I think we'll just fail it every time. Uh, we've only got one expedition ration left. Can we go back to the roof? Uh, I've already completed that. There's nothing there. We can continue though. Uh, yeah, I think there's just the machinery left, which. Yeah. I don't think we're going to carry everything back anyway, so we probably have to come back again, so. We'll just send. We'll just try and remember to send a technician. I I could have sworn I sent one, but I guess he died along the way or something. I I don't know. But, uh, I have to check my uh, check the video back, but I'm pretty sure I sent somebody. So there we go. Uh, I don't think we'll carry all this stuff anyway. There's a loads of it. Um, what do we really want first? I don't think we're desperate for anything. I mean, wood. Uh, it would just, you know, there's going to be a storm at some point that's going to smash everything. So, cloth is always a good one as well. Uh, scrap is fine. Plastic. Metal. Yeah, there we go. I say we're going to have to return anyway, so we're going to have to do a couple of trips. So, it's not necessarily a bad thing. We'll uh, just have to send uh, somebody back in again. And, uh, you know, just have to remember that. But that's good. There we go. Loot and return. Sweet. And uh, was performed. Yes, we got pipe technology. So, really, we want to check out this, then, don't we? So, where was that pipe system? So, yeah, our weather station is probably a good one. I wonder if there's a thing here. Such so in the area of electricity. I think I'm going to go with that again. So, I think it's only the electrical uh, pumps. Uh, so, so, yeah, automate our wells and no longer require any manpower. Although, to be honest, the well, the well manpower is not that much of a deal. Uh, breaker, let's actually speed along because I've not uh, not unpaused it yet in about 10 15 minutes of video. <laughs> uh, right, let's go and do the pump. So, I'm going to research all this stuff anyway, so that's fine. Only requires one research point, that's all good. Good there, they're researching that away, that's fantastic. So, just got to make sure uh, the drought is about to hit us. Um, I'm thinking maybe building some more houses, to be honest, and just try to stimulate growth. Although, to be honest, at the same time, growth is not that much of an issue, is it, really? Um, let's kind of slow it down to one speed. I'm going to go with the electricity, and we'll see if we can start hooking that up. I think that's what we want to get, the roads and the electricity finished. If we can, uh, so I don't think that that's hooked up. Let me put that there, and that should hook into that, and then that's not hooked into anything there, is it? Um, yeah, you could probably get one there. That would work, and maybe hook into that. Yeah, it's really hard to uh, see where the um, where all the power poles and stuff are supposed to go. To be honest, just 
just throwing extra power poles in now. Um, this has nothing over here, does it either? So it's going to hook some of those up. There we go. They've already got power, but obviously probably not enough. There we go. Uh, how else was everything else doing? Yeah, everything else was doing okay. Uh, we're hooking power up to those. So we're good. We're still waiting on that one to be built. Uh, we need to load more builders. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the rub. Is we definitely want a lot more builders. There we go. Let's have like half a dozen doing, uh, just doing regular settler stuff. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, let's go times three for a minute. Uh, trade has been closed and the drought has just hit us. So food and water are going to start going down, but I think we'll be okay. We can always enact one of those decrees if we have to, but I don't really want to do that. I think what I'm going to do actually is just logistics, upgrade roads. A uh, good sort of upgrade around here would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Kind of just spread a massive. There we go. It's going to get a big chunk. Just get as much of that as we can. Yeah, I think we've got more or less everything. Yep, yeah, that's all done. Get those last few in. That's all fine there. Uh, you guys. Yeah, you've been all upgraded as well. Fantastic, right. So that should be all the roads, roughly. I might have missed the odd one, but um, I should have got most of them anyway. Uh, we probably want to put some roads there, actually, where the scrap catches are, don't we, as well? Let's go just times one, because I want to keep the roads, uh, you know, keep everything ticking along. Yeah, let's get those in there. Come on. There we are. So that'll just help when they actually start to collect the scrap out of those. I think they're gathering scrap anyway. Uh, but obviously when the big sandstorm comes in, uh, they gather... Yeah, they're gathering scrap. 189. Pretty sure I'd emptied those out, so I guess they just slowly collect it over time anyway. Uh, but obviously when the big storm hits, then, uh, you know, they really, really start collecting. Um, ooh. Our happiness has just, just peaked over. Only just, but if we could do this again, electric pump, you know, we'll get another 10% happiness. I think those are well worth it. Um, so that's great. Let's go times three again. How are we doing on the food and water? It's not doing too bad. Um, I think we'll try and put the market down as well. There is a space here. Maybe we should move this out of the way. Uh, ooh, our researchers have reported. There we go, major success. We get another 10%, nice. That's that's good. I do like that. Uh, research in the area of researches. Research in the area of technology. Let's have a look. So, uh, resources. Yeah. Technology. Have we got anything left? I mean, to be honest, it could give us that, which I'm not overly give, keen about. But either one only gives cost us one point. The weather station would be kind of nice to have, wouldn't it? So, yeah, let's do that, I think. Go with the technology thing again. Uh, weather station. Oh, perfect. That's what I wanted. Research the weather station. There we go. Brilliant. Excellent. And, ooh, there's an oncoming sandstorm. So here it rolls. It's coming across. Let's let it go. And then those should fill up. But, yeah, our wood is going to take just a massive hit because everything's going to get smashed. Oh, boy. Expedition returned home. We will send another one out. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's just kind of smashed everything. But that has filled those up nicely. Okay, right. Well, uh, what we, let's let that pass. And then what we're going to do is get all of our scrap collectors. To just start collecting scrap 
from there because there's like 2,500. So, yeah, a few more of those are going to be really good, actually. It means we don't have to go anywhere for it. I do want to get some more of those in, I think. So I've not got many scrap collectors, but to be honest, we don't really need it. So let's get everybody doing that, I think. And we'll leave. We'll leave you gathering scrap from a distance. Yeah, we'll leave you gather, gathering scrap. Don't need everybody on it. But yeah, that's like 2,500 scrap. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, damn it. It's the same woman again. i got to get used to that. Not used to that yet. I am selecting that it's this. I've selected the same person, so she keeps coming back. But to be honest, she keeps bringing research points. I'm uh, kind of cool with that. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, I wish gotta you change a that back. Day. Um, yeah. Well, there's a load of electronics. We don't need that anyway. And then there's a load back at the um, uh, the factory that we've just been to. The same with the plastics. Beer would be kind of nice, but I think putting another pub in is probably going to be better. I think, to be honest, I'm going to send you away, and then we'll select somebody new. Um, let's go with you next. It's like somebody that brings seeds or something is kind of what we want next. I think she generally gives, sometimes gives you a research point is the one I've had of, of the most. Uh, yeah, we're just getting those logistics in as well, so that's good. But they've probably stopped to repair buildings and things, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, let's keep going. We're about to come out of the drought, and we've still got 25,000 water, so that's that's actually good. We survive well there. The medical plants, right, those are going down, so we probably maybe want to fire up some more uh, tailors, shops. We'll see an eye on that. That's doing great. I don't need to worry about that. And the mid medicinal herbs actually and stuff is starting to go up as well so that's good uh, if we can cut down on the radiation uh, that's another good thing yeah that's going up that is going up as well uh, what are they where are they they're over yeah what are they doing uh, largely just making cloth masks and the carbon activate carbon mask yeah that's okay I think we'll leave those still off for the moment. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Good. Did I research the... Oh, yes, I did. I researched the upgrade for that. Well, I think we want to do that then. We definitely want to upgrade those workshops. That's the next thing to do. Uh, power is... It's probably off because everything's smashed up. So I'd assume that things may have got broken. I'm guessing, but I'm not sure on that one. Uh, but yeah, the power grid's down at the moment. Although some of it's still going because obviously the uh, the windmills are still going round. But over here, it's uh, kind of dead. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to put a market in. It's going to take that down. Uh, we haven't put a market in, so we could put it in there. About the only place we could put it, really, isn't it? I mean, I guess we could put it there. But I feel like that's a bit more of a. Does it give me a. Well, because there's a transit point for shipments of all types of resources and is supplied exclusively by logis logic tis, log, the, yeah, logistics. There we go. Um, uh, the storage capacity and resource. Okay. Settlers can visit the market to boost their confidence. Okay, neighbouring production sites or to meet settlers' needs. So yeah, it seems like it's kind of a storage transit hub. So yeah, I think probably there's going to be a good spot for it. But there's not really... Hmm, I don't really have anywhere else for it. I think probably here is the best spot. But I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to fit that in anyway. Damn it. Yeah, we're not going to get that in anyway have to knock down some of these uh, technician uh, you know uh, tool makers which don't really want to do that although they are off I guess we could knock them down we could knock them down couldn't we so we can't get that in there we can't get that in there that's a shame okay right well I'm thinking another pub as well let's go community first Get another pub. 
if we can. I don't think we can fit one in round here. Yeah, I'm running out of space. Uh, that windmill might have to come down. Yeah, I'm going to take that one down. Yeah, we'll take that down. Let's take it down. Let's take the turbine down. I don't think we can fit one in anywhere else. Um, but as I say, I'm kind of tempted to knock a couple of those down. Because if we upgrade anyway, we probably won't need quite so many. So that'd be kind of cool. Uh, food is going down, but it's going to start to go back up. And I left everybody on the... I left everybody on water collecting and fishing. Damn it. Thought I'd have bloody learnt that boy now, but there you go. I, I haven't. <laughs> yep, continue to yell at me in the comments. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I should have took the fishermen off and stuff. Ooh, cooks. Let's put those back again. Uh, how are we doing? Yeah, those are still okay. I'm not too worried. Plus, uh, we need to send that expedition out again and collect some more stuff. Um, yeah, I should have taken the fishermen off there because they weren't actually doing anything, but never mind. Let's throw up some more builders. Like 150? Yeah, let's go 150. That was fine. Uh, logistics, we'll get another couple in there. Anybody else missing? I mean, militia is really low. That's something else we desperately need. Um, I guess once we've scouted everything and been everywhere, we could lose the three scouts as well. We don't necessarily need those people. Um, scrap collectors aside, I don't think I'll need to worry. I'm going to put a couple of people on that. Because it, the scrap has gone down, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was like 1700 when we started. It's gone right down to 700, so... Yeah. Okay, right, let's speed up again. Food should start going back up again soon. Uh, once gatherers and all the rest of it get going on it. And there we go, yeah. Well now, now we've definitely hit uh, 1,200 citizens. Uh, okay, alarms and rooms there is. Apparently a force of raiders is assembling near us and it won't be long before they try to attack us. Oh boy. Ooh. Well, that's, that's a stroke of luck because we've already got some towers there. We've already got a few towers there already. Oh boy. Okay, right. Well, let's clear. Let's gather wood. Get that to there. We'll get rid of those. <laughs> right. Well, I think another layer of towers. Although the... Oh, no, I haven't done the siren yet. Okay. Yeah, because we've got a ring of defences, so that's something. Is that a good spot, though, or should we put them further in? They do... people do hate them, right? I don't know, they don't... Oh, I just assumed people would hate these things. Okay, fair enough, then... It's like they're coming from down here. I'm assuming they're probably going to march all the way up through here to the central point that's where they went last time they kind of went to the center and then came back so i'm assuming they're going to come through this choke point so i'm kind of thinking some extra towers like there to kind of stop them as soon as they come in and then probably one next to the town as the, the town pole bit as well would be a good one there we go i thought people would just kind of hate those and they would um uh, you know, you lose attractiveness, but I guess I guess not. I guess people would feel safe, so yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to not put that one in and not put that one in for a second. I, I think I'm going to cancel all three of those. I'll put those ones that I've put inside the perimeter first. Yeah, let's do that, and we'll make that one a priority. Uh, weather station is coming along. That's good. So it took a took a while for them to actually attack us. So I don't know how long it's going to take this time round, but uh, we're probably not going to get to this episode. Uh, oh boy! 
Sickness is broken out again. Imminent raider attack. Food is going down. If they steal all our food, then we are screwed. So we're definitely going to have to uh, do something else. I think maybe barricade this off a little bit. I'd assume they have to break through these barricades. Uh, barricades, uh, advantage to the settlement. Barricades are located within the radius of a raider force. The speed of the force movement is slowed down. Ooh, hello. Put some of those about. I, yeah, I don't know about this. Like, Do I have to do a whole line of these or what? I don't know, but uh, we'll throw a few in it. I say I feel like this is the way, they, the way they're going to hit us, but they might hit us up here, so I'm going to throw some of these in as well. It just sounds like if there's a barricade there, they kind of just slow down on it, but I'm not sure. I mean, they could ultimately walk this way around, so I think probably some towers in here as well. Um, ooh, can we get one in there? No, okay. Not that it matters, I guess, but I'd kind of like it too. Um, oh, there's a field there. I was just thinking, why can't I put that down? It says a field there. <laughs> That's why. Um, no, I, I, this is my feeling that they're coming through this way. The good thing is we've got this this uh, wall here that kind of blocks off, kind of restricts us in the building sense, but it's a nice little choke point. If, they can, if we can funnel them through there, that's going to be great, but my worry is that they're going to come this way, so I think I'm going to put one there as well. Right, let's, uh, we need like just as many builders as we can get our hands on. And then really I'm going to have to strip people off. At, um, let's take some of the scrap collectors off. There we go. Ooh, hello. Dude, what have you got? Got a trader in? <coughs> oh. Oh. If that isn't oh, walnut seed. Favorite customer. Don't sure it is. think we have walnuts. Uh, I think that's the, one of the ones we're missing, isn't it? Cabbage. Uh, no, that's a, that's going to be a... It's going to be one of those, isn't it? Of course. Uh, yeah, walnut. Okay, let's let's go with the walnut seed then. And yeah, we've got a bit of an epidemic breaking out. So yeah, I think uh, medicine is something else we're going to have to take a look at because it's not doing good. <coughs> yep, you might want to cut down on those, by the way. Um, what do you want? Yeah, I don't have that. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to be able to produce those amounts. Um, Got a load of scrap. I don't want to give you uh, rubber bullets. I think maybe some tools. What about a few tools? About 40 tools for a walnut seed. Man. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. There we go. So you bring seeds. Uh, the other person brings uh, the one that came last time. Uh, she brings. Uh, like uh, research points at time, so those are two good traders that we want. Certainly for the moment, anyway. Uh, later on, we might want some, uh, you know, people that actually uh, our researchers are a point of success. Aha! There we go. Brilliant. So I've just done the weather station. Uh, yeah, there's a epidemic breaking out, so we're gonna have to do about that. Test for the economy, research resources. Hmm. It was like the backpack, wasn't it? Technology. Resources is either that or that. What else is there? There's not much else left, though, to be honest. I've kind of researched almost everything. Yeah, there's like a few things. To be honest, I feel like that might be a good one, but I say I'm kind of tempted to just continue with my uh, go for the 10% bonus to the happiness. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, diligence decree. Okay, let's do that one then. Uh, where is it? Does that actually require? Damn, that requires a lot of stuff, doesn't it? I mean, it's not a huge amount, but it requires a little, little piece of almost every uh, resource, doesn't it? Apart from electronics, it requires everything else. Fair enough. Well, let's start that one off. And then, yeah, the uh, uh, 
I think we'll get some more herbalists on the go. Uh, maybe down here. There's a nice empty space that we can build into here. So I think we'll start colonizing down this way. Uh, maybe set up another industry or something down there. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let's get some more herbalists. Uh, resource. Herbal hut. There we go. Get those in and then we will put logistics, put paved road and connect. Come on. There we go. Connect those two because I've just noticed. Oh, is that a hole in the road? Yeah, it is. There we go. There's a few little gaps there. I think there was like uh, scrap or something there when I actually put those in. So I think just just looking, it looks like most of the roads are now paved. Um, I think I've got all the paved road in. I can't see. I'm not seeing anything that's dirt road anymore, which is great. So that means everyone's just going to move around a little bit quicker, which is good. Um, protective clothing is still okay at the moment. The tools are still okay. Because uh, we just sold a bunch of tools, so uh, obviously we're going to be a little bit down on those. Um, but we definitely want these things in. And uh, I'm going to put some more electricity in as well here. Uh, let's go to this view because it's just so much easier to see the, uh, see the electricity. There we go. Hmm. Might be points where actually I just can't stretch there. It's going to be. I have to kind of go really. Oh, yeah. Really kind of just take the long route round, I think. Oh, no. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. We don't need it. There we go. We'll try and... I don't think that's working either. Yeah, there's like there's just so many power poles. Do we need that power pole? No, we can get rid of that one. There we are. So that's kind of hooked some of them in. And then, yeah, I think we're going to have to kind of loop round. And yeah, it's going to be awkward. But uh, the power system is up. A lot of the houses are now actually getting power, which is great. Uh, the bat two batteries are full. That one there is not full. So, yeah, not, not bad, actually. I feel like we're doing okay on that. But that's pretty good. Uh, we'll probably get, like... Uh, no, let's not go crazy with it. Let's kind of leave it. Let's not go too crazy with it. Uh, I want to get these uh, towers in anyway. That's definitely the main thing. That is the main focus, because that attack is coming. We've definitely got the... Um, the troops. Oh, we've got the weapons, sorry. I'm going to start throwing some extra uh, militias. Um, what we could do is shut down these towers. Because I'm assuming, I don't know, but I'm assuming that they're going to walk this way in. Because they walked the same way in and then went the same way out lot as they did last time. Although they kind of went a different way, actually. But um, I don't know how they're going to walk in. But they're definitely going to walk in this way. And come up this way. Probably to, like, here. i say like, this is kind of my feeling that they're going to hit here or here. Which we have some defences, but not a lot. Um, oh, boy, yeah. All the wood has just disappeared. Oh, man. Okay, alright. Oh, God, what are the wood people doing? The wood people. <laughs> uh, you don't have any trees. That's not good, is it? Uh, let's just get you to chop that down, I think. Anybody else? Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, these people that have nothing to cut down. Okay, then that's not good. I really don't want you to cut this down. This is my kind of forest. So uh, I think we'll get you to cut 
put that down there. And the same here, and we'll get you to cut that down, I think. There we go. Okay, I'll say I want to leave this chunk here, this corner, this kind of zone here. Where basically where my uh, you know my vision is uh, that's kind of where I want to keep uh, the uh, ooh combine harvester um, that's kind of where I want to keep that I think uh, let's oh we should have sent an expedition out as well open expedition window uh, where are we up here there we go and we want to go back there and we need a technician to just finish off because uh, there's a bunch of stuff there we might as well go and collect it all. Uh, let's get rid of the elderly and the just have adults and young adults. Uh, there's only one, so you're going to have to do it. And then we definitely want to take any militia this time around. Um, don't want to take a forester. Don't really want to lose anyone. I think we might take some morticians or something. We'll see. Uh, we don't need any tools either, so that's good. All we just need is that technician. Surprised we don't need tools, but there you go. I guess not. Uh, I don't want to take builders. Wow, there's a lot of radiated people actually. Oh, well, there's quite a few. I mean, there's not a lot, but there's a, there's a, there's enough of them. But uh, at least if they're they're not having uh, watered plants with radiated uh, water and stuff, then uh, you know that's going to help out. Yeah, let's just take some of these morticians. I think. Don't want to take the militia because they're going to be key. Uh, I don't want to take the herbalist. That's a teacher. You've got radiation, so yeah, we don't want to do that. I feel probably okay taking some of these water collectors, actually. Take some of those. Um, yeah. Don't want to take a miner who's con. Yeah, we'll send you. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we take a few expedition rations. I think like five because I don't know don't know what's going to be in there. I think it was just one room, but it might be more than one. So it'd be nice to get that cleared out, but we'll see how we do with that one. All right. Yeah, we've got sickness and, uh, ooh, settlers without houses. Okay, that's a, something we've not had to face for a few episodes, actually. Oh, wow, yeah, the uh, population has just shot up, hasn't it? Damn, what was it, like 9, 10 or something when, uh, when, when we started? And it's just jumped up about 60, 70 uh, settlers. Damn. Okay. Yeah, we need these. Uh, we need these things, like ASAP. Really. We need these built like tomorrow. Uh, we just don't have enough wood. That's the main problem. Um, I think water's okay, so I'm gonna drop a ten water collectors out uh, to help chop this wood down here. I obviously chop some of that wood down as well. It's the it's the sandstorm I think is the one thing that does it. It uh, just kind of breaks everything. Yeah, scrap collectors are just they're so full again. There's still just tons of scrap there. Hundred, two hundred and forty, almost full. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Uh, we might need a. Uh, I think we probably want another warehouse there as well. I don't want to build anything else though because. Uh, Right now, we've got to get these guys. i got to get these things up. Now, I'm thinking of shutting these ones down, which will free up militia to then go to these towers because I don't really want to do that. I think what I'm going to do is drop like 50 water carriers. Um, I think that's what I'd possibly be inclined to be doing. Diligence, yeah, the wood as well. That sucks. Yeah, everyone kind of wants wood. Oh boy. That is not good. Um, did we? We did actually do the electric pump at the end, didn't we? Only functions when connected to the power grid. Yeah, so the power grid is not really reliable. What's it cost? I'm not going to do it because it's wood, but fair enough. I'd assume they'd have to be uh, separated from each other, but there we go. Uh, food is going down again, but I'd assume the food would start to go up again soon. Uh, epidemic is rising fast. I do not like that at all. Oh boy. Yeah, wood has just killed us, man. Damn it. Bloody wood. 
Ah, it's always wood. It's always wood. Uh, what are you guys doing over here as well? Oh, no, sorry. Logging, you're seeding. Do cutting and seeding. There we go. Okay, you're over there as well. And you're over there as well. Okay, well, I think we're going to get you to come and cut down some of that as well. We need a, we need a load of wood, so uh, I think we've got to go with it and just chop down a ton of wood because right now we're not making anything. So, uh, but uh, oh god, I've just noticed how the time is. Okay, right. Well, I think this is where I'm going to call it anyway. And I'm going to end the episode here. We're about to get attacked. I'm not confident because just wood is really our main concern right now. Um, uh, you know, uh, wood is just absolutely killing us. Um, and we also have an ep epidemic, but I think we're just about going to handle that. It's going to be tight, but I think we can handle it. Uh, we're going to have to check the uh, check those as well, but I think I don't look too bad, actually. Yeah, not look too bad. Uh, I'll have to check all those next episode, I think. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can brace this attack because they're going to want food and water. I might see how much it costs to pay them off. Hmm. Yeah, I might do that. I, they took so much last time, and I don't reckon we're ready to uh, fight them off. So, yeah, our towers did, did very little. We took about a quarter of their health off, and so, you know, layers of towers are definitely going to be the way to go. Uh, you know, so they, they do walk in here, and they keep getting shot, keep getting shot, because I think that's where they're going to head to there. And then if they come out this way or that, if they come out this way, then there's no defenses on this side at all. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to start incorporating some of these towers around the place and really get defensive because that's the one area that we are not really doing very well on. I mean, there's lots of areas we're not doing very well on, but um, defense is definitely not one of them. So uh, that's that, that's something we've definitely got to work on. But uh, anyway, for now, this is where I'm going to call it anyway, and I'm going to end the episode here. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.